dear students and parents we thank you for all your cooperation and support during the process of e learning which we have started in the third week of march well e learning was adapted very positively among parents and students and we indeed received very positive response on e learning moving a step ahead eps is delighted to announce our digital classroom implementation with our students to provide them live classroom with teachers this is a short video tutorial for all our parents and students on how to access digital classroom using google g suite now to start with google g suite has been incorporated with the eps website so you have the username and a password for the eps portal so as normal you'll be logging to the eps portal and from that eps portal we have added a link to google classroom you will be clicking and going on to the google classroom now regarding the username and a password you already have the username and a password for the eps portal now for the g suite portal we will be sending you an mail with your username and a password so please follow that mail to have an access to the username and a password of google classroom now without forgetting let me tell you one thing from the day of the first login you should be changing your password within seven days otherwise your account will be suspended this is the policy of google so we can't do anything on that so now let's continue with the process so as you come to the eps portal first thing what you'll be doing is going into the user login and a student login this you have been doing it over the period of time while accessing the digital resources and all so i'll be using one username and a password randomly for one of the student so put the username and the password and click the login button now once you log in to the portal of eps on the left hand side as you have been accessing digital resources all this time so what you should be looking into is the google classroom now once you click on this google classroom it will take you to another page which is the google page now here i have already logged in so let me log out of this now we will be using a new username and a password over here for the student which is this one now let's say i click on a use another account and we will go and use a google username click on the next and then we will be using a google password now as i said this password is same for everyone so you should be changing the password within seven days after the first login once you put this click on next you will be getting a disclaimer from the google site where you have to accept the disclaimer if you want you can read through it i just click accept once you are done with this the second thing which comes in front of you is the google classroom classroom helps classes communicate save time and stay organized learn more this is the account of adham mohammed said and you click on continue this is just a confirmation if this is not your account please log out and find your own account so continue once you continue choose your role now you are a student or you are a teacher now some people are there who might try to play around and select teacher i'll tell you one thing if you select a teacher you will not be getting any homework any class works nothing will come to you so because the class assignments are different so you go and select i am a student once you click on this this is your google classroom now if you see over here the student is from grade 3a so grade 3a is shown over here once you click on this grade 3a this is your classroom on top uh, you will be getting this uh, first time all these things will come so keep clicking got it the first thing what you have is a stream now remember one thing stream is a place where all the announcement which is done by a teacher uh, possibly they will say there is a worksheet uploaded there is a assessment there there is an assignment given there is a quiz date xyz whatever announcement is done by a teacher you should be able to see those things under the stream under the class work all your work will be displayed whatever is assigned to you 
once you complete it submit it back to the teacher it will be shown over here whatever you have submitted and in case if the teacher has given some comments or something you should be able to go in and checking that the third tab talks over here about the people so now here it is a list of all the teacher who teach grade 3 a so if you click on view all it will expand this list and these are the list of the teacher who teach grade 3 a you will be finding all the teachers over here what can you do with this now suppose if I have to send a mail to this particular teacher, you can go and send a mail to this particular teacher. We will explain all these things down the line. For the time being, I will just take you to the Google Classroom. How are you going to attend the classes? Now here, if you see the classmates, all the students of grade 3A will be displayed over here. So these are the student part and these are the teachers part. Let's go back to the classroom. And in the classroom, you have something called as a Google Calendar. Now, for your timetable and all these things, you should be knowing where to go and how to get it. For the time being, if you want to know which classes has been assigned to you, simply go and click on Google Calendar. Once you click on a Google Calendar, again, as I said, this is the first time it will come. And I said, add calendar for 3A. I said, add it and then got it. Now. If you see over here, there are already certain things which are assigned over here. Now, these are the classes which has been assigned by the teacher on this particular date. So if you see 17th, there is a class. Of course, we did not start it on 17th. We did not start it on 18th. We'll be starting from 19th. So now tomorrow, what classes do you have and what time do you have it? If you want to see it, just click on this. It will give you grade 3A science class which is on 19th of May, will be starting at 9.30 in the morning up till 10.10 10 a.m. And this class is every day. That means weekly, every Tuesday, you will be having this class. Every week, Tuesday, 9.30 to 10.10, 10, you have grade 3A science class. How do you join a class? I click on got it. Now, a very simple way of joining a class is click on join with google meet once you click on this there will be another window coming over here and you will be able to see another window now there are certain rules and regulations which we have set and you will be receiving an email with that as well your microphone and your camera both has to be on now once this part is over here you go and simply say join the class once you click on join the class you are already in the classroom now there are certain normal things which is i'm sure all of you understand suppose when the teacher is teaching on a normal ground just go and mute your microphone because if everybody start talking you know this is a digital media so nobody can hear anybody so when the teacher is talking you can turn the microphone off but your camera has to be on this is a visual presentation or a vis visual attendance which we will be collecting so this is the place where you take this once you finish the class one more thing once you click over here you will be seeing all the people who are attending this particular class that is the students of grade 3a in case if a student have a question they can talk or if they want to type in something they can click on a chat box and they can type a message over here and this message will go to everybody in this particular place and whoever wants to respond to that message one more thing once the class is over once the teacher says the class is over and people should leave you should be leaving the class you cannot be still in the class chatting with your friends and all so what you are supposed to do is simply go and hang up the call and it will close and I said return to the home screen. That is how you join your Google Classroom. Now let me show you how to change the password of your Google account. So what you will be doing is you can see there is an icon over here of your Google account. Once you click on this, it says something called as a manage your Google account. Once you click on manage your Google account, it will be redirected to a page 
where on the left hand side if you see there is a home personal info you can go ahead and do whatever you want what i am showing you as of now is the security once you click on the security part and on the right hand side you just scroll down you can see there is something as a password now it says the last change password was 28th of april this is the day when your account was created so once you click on this it will ask you to continue first verify that it is you so you should be entering your current password so i type the current password and click on next and the next screen which comes to you will ask you for a new password you type in your new password and then you confirm the same password and say change password once you do this your password will be changed and remember this password because this is your account now so i won't be able to do anything on this account so you should be remembering how to change your password well here most of the things which i was supposed to show you is covered over here down the line there will be other videos also which will explain the rest of the parts of the google classroom or the google suite but in the meantime before i end this video i just want to show you the class timetable for every student has been amended in the eps portal so how do you access the timetable i'll just show you that after you log in on the left hand side you will be having academics which you have been using over the period of time for digital resources so now once you click on the academic you will find something over here as a link for a timetable so once you click over here it will show you your class timetable now this timetable has been amended for each and every student class wise section wise uh, this calendar is also there on google classroom as google calendar but this is a second option which has been given to you so you can get your timetable over here if you need to print it out make a desktop or wallpaper or whatever whatsoever i hope i have covered every aspect of google classroom so far and as i mentioned there will be other videos also for other features i will be posting it over the period of time so i hope this will help you in your live digital classroom thank you very much good luck